This video is on how to stop horses from bucking. Um, as I go to get on her, you can see her, you know, swinging her leg around a little bit or swinging her butt hind end around a little bit. As I go to get on, I'm very careful. I have a lot of the slack out of the outside rein just as I get on. And then you can see as I start moving around, she just starts pinning her ears. That tail just starts just going back and forth, and she is not in a very good mood. So I'm going to keep control over her here because I know what, exactly what she wants to do. She wants to take off bucking. Then I'm going to go to the right. And again, her ears are just straight back. Her tail is swishing like crazy. So you want to make sure she's soft on the ground before you get on her saddle. Flexing both ways. I give her a chance to go forward. She bucks. So I'm going to pick up the inside rein. Soften the nose and move that hip. It's very hard for a horse to soften their nose, move their hip, and buck. So it's the best control I have. I ask her to go forward again. And she starts this like bucking away like there's no tomorrow. So, um, again, you definitely want to have her nose softened on the ground, flexing left and right, moving the hip on the ground before you ever step under saddle. Um, so she just continues bucking, even though this is only a three and a half minute video. Um, this probably went on for about 30 minutes before I was able to get her going forward. And, you know, she's just not a very happy horse. Uh, we've had the vets out. They've checked her back. They checked everything about her, her ulcers, her stomach, you know, anything. And, you know, she just wants to keep bucking. And so there's nothing medically wrong with her. So I keep giving her opportunity to go forward. She keeps trying to buck like crazy. And again, this went on for about 30 minutes. But every time she went to buck, I'd soften her nose and move that hip around. So she realized that every time she bucked, now I was going to soften her nose and move her hip. So, you know, she's not getting anywhere with it. Even though my saddle came loose, um, I couldn't get off her at the time because um, if I would have, then I would have, you know, told her every time she bucks, I'd get off. So I just had to deal with it. So now I've got her going forward pretty good here. Um, now she's walking back and forth with me. I'll walk down the middle of the arena. And in case she did do something, I had plenty of room to do it with. If I was on a rail, then it would be a little bit harder. So I'll soften her nose back and forth. And then I'll have her start trotting with me, using my legs as a cue to move forward. And then she starts doing pretty good. This mare will probably be in training with me for a couple months, getting her out of this bucking issue. Uh, she tries to buck with me again. But, um, you know, she'll be in training for a few months. And we'll get her out of it and then start taking her out on the trails and go from there um, you know at one point or another she probably learned by bucking she can you know people just get off her and walk away and it just became a uh, really bad habit even though she doesn't buck hard you know a buck is a buck and she was pretty consistent at it and now she's doing pretty great this is about 45 minutes later so then we start going around you know the whole entire arena uh, in both directions to the left and back to the right and I always have that inside rein ready in case she does buck again so I hope you enjoyed the video uh, subscribe to my YouTube page to see new videos as they come